Uh, we're, we're, we will go ahead and get started. Uh, be sure everybody's cell phones on vibrate or silent. Um, join me in prayer, please. I will, hold on just a second. We'll wait till Mr. Neal comes in. Dear Lord and Savior, we're thankful for the many blessings of this life. We're thankful for this opportunity that you've given us to work for the citizens of this great state. Give us wisdom and compassion, dear Lord. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Uh, just got off the phone with Mr. Dollar, Representative Dollar. He, he, he will be here supposedly in about three to five minutes. So, that being the case, uh, Chairman Maxwell, are you, you ready to present your bill? Yes, sir. Yes, please, sir. Hey, you know, I've had a lot of snide remarks about 8 o'clock this morning. large company they're in nine nine states or so uh, basically they want to do two things when they come in they want to provide gap insurance and they want to provide their uh, repair costs for the vehicles they want to give guaranteed repair on the vehicles and uh, under the current law they would have to come in and reinsure if they could find anybody to reinsure these these type propositions so what we're asking for on uh, second page line 28 uh, vehicle service agreements or extended warranty agreements which are issued, sold, or offered by the sale of a retail installment seller. If they, on line 32, maintain at least a $100 million uh, net worth of stockholders' equity, and they have to provide this information down in line 40, a Form 10-K or Form 20-F disclosure uh, provided, uh, and they have to give that to the commissioner, uh, line 46, it's got to be filed 30 days prior to them coming in. And it has to be filed annually showing they have the uh, assets in place to protect the consumers if they sell these agreements to somebody that buys cars. This is a used car dealership that basically sells seven, eight-year-old cars or so. And they do all their financing. They take care of 90, 95% of everything is handled in-house. Now, they will, when they come into small towns, they will use local garages and places like that for the repair. Uh, and then if, they, uh, if the commissioner requested line 50, they would uh, be required, again, at the, at the commissioner's request, to post a surety bond in the amount not to see $250,000. So that's for the vehicle service agreements. And then we combine the other section on line 86, page 3. Uh, this is for the uh, guaranteed asset protection waiver of basically the gap coverage we know of uh, they uh, they want to make sure if somebody buys a car from them uh, if if, if uh, something goes wrong they're able to pay for it and they say about 95 percent of even their customers purchase purchase this coverage here again uh, they've got to maintain at least a hundred million dollars the forms have got to be provided uh, to the insurance commissioner annually uh, showing that they have that amount of uh, uh, money and assets uh, and and uh, this part does not require the uh, $250,000 bond. If they were to go out of business or something happened, uh, guys going to get their car anyway. They file bankruptcy. So that's basically what the bill does, Mr. Chairman, and I'll be glad to answer any questions for the committee members. Uh, any questions? I don't Okay. 22. Uh, Mr. Chairman, who are we doing this for? What company? It's uh, Carmart. 
Carmart. Uh -huh. okay. I think they're in nine states right now in the southeast, and they're wanting to expand in some other states. Okay. And uh, this Where is, are they uh, based out of? Uh, Benton, uh, Arkansas. Arkansas, out right okay. there by Walmart. Actually, it's an interesting story. Their sign they had out there one time, it had a little metal sign called Carmart. I think it's American's Carmart now is what they call it, America's Carmart. Walmart had two or three tr truckloads of their signs they were selling on transfer trucks, and they were able to buy the Walmart signs out there, the big letters. They were telling me this here a while back. And I got a great, great deal on two or three truck transfer truckloads of signs and had to go get a couple of letters made but use those signs on their dealerships when they sent them out as long as they could. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Further question, Mr. Chairman. Yes, when, you when you talk about extended warranties, Mr. Chairman, what are you talking about? What are they on a used car that's eight used years old? What are, I know well, it's limited, but do you, do you know any details? On I, it? I don't know how long it's for, but if it breaks down within a period of time, they're going to repair the car, and uh, they'll, they'll, they'll guarantee that the vehicle's going to be repaired for them. They'll give them a warranty. And I'm not sure the details on, on how long that is. I didn't ask that question. Do you know? They sell, they sell a five-month, 5,500 miles. Oh, okay. And then you'll see the commissioner has some oversight over this. They would make sure that this doesn't extend to, to a period that becomes looking a lot more like insurance. So when you buy one of their used cars that doesn't have no warranty on it, it shows an extended warranty you can buy for? It's, it's not an extended warranty. It's just a warranty. The, the just a warranty. warranty. Is your phone number going to be on the warranty? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rogers, any other questions? I have more. Okay, number 23. You'll save those for the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My question deals with uh, who presents or who determines their $100 million uh, Financial equity. It's How does the, that determine? On page uh, two, line forty, they have to file a copy of their federal uh, form 10K or form 20F disclosure statements. Uh, if they do not file statements with the SEC, then they have to file a copy of their audited financial statements reported on a GAAP basis with the insurance commissioner's office. Thank you. Twenty-four. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Are there other companies that will be having the same law applied to them? If they, if they want to do something like this, I'm not sure there's any companies with this uh, large an asset base that wants to come in or that are doing business in the state, but anybody that would be doing business that would meet this criteria could do this. Yes, ma'am. And have we looked and checked references? Is this working in other states? Do we know how it's working and functioning? The nine states they're in, they've not had any problems. Okay, thank you. And this is what they have in the other states to allow them to come in and do business. Uh, you can't really find the insurance for these uh, five-month warranties. I mean, there's no company that really actually uh, reinsure something like that. Okay, thank you. 21. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Maxwell, just to make it clear that uh, from an oversight standpoint, this is something the Department of Insurance would have its eye on on a – Yes, ongoing, ongoing basis, basis and, and and they've signed off on this they've worked through the department of insurance on this the department of insurance is here and i believe they, they have no problem with any of this mm -hmm. thank they, you. they've agreed to this legislation thank, thank you sir <laughs> any other questions all right that's thank you sir that that concludes the discussion on this do i hear a motion Second. Okay, motion made to pass in the second. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Be, be sure you uh, sign these documents in rules committee. Yes, sir. 17. Okay. All right. Mr. Dollar. You want to go down front and present your bill, please, sir? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 
House Bill 463 is a, a simple bill. It will enable the the um, self storage facilities, the operators, to offer insurance to cover the items in those facilities. It's um, the same bill that we passed out last year. It got held up in rules. The department does not have any problems with it. I hear any questions? I move we approve. Second. Um, motion made to approve and second. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed like sign. Okay, motion Thank passed. That concludes our agenda for today. Shoot, we we're running on time now. <laughs> Meetings adjourned.